WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everyone. This is the 4 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market wrap-up for the week, Friday the 15th of September. Basil Chapman here. We're looking at the Dow down 288 to 34,618, giving back, uh, well, it gave back more than the gains of yesterday in the sense that it, it gapped down from yesterday's open and it closed lower. So, this is very interesting. This little uh, pattern that you can see on the daily chart on the left. See what happened? It went above the inside track uh, repellent zone. It got a propellant to push to the upside yesterday. Now it's back in that zone. And you can see that S says that the nine period moving average went back to negative after being positive for a day. And that just says the sell mode so far is continuing in the Dow. Looking at the S&P, here we are. S&P was down. Uh, 54 at 44,050 also gapped down went right to the um, right to the 50 period moving average if at any point uh, this coming week certainly the beginning of the week it takes out 44.30 support uh, that's going to be a big problem it has to go above the high that was made yesterday which was 43.11 I'd have to say 43.20 would be very good action if we can do that by Tuesday of next week all the weekly charts are still holding really well. It's the daily charts that have been quite poor. QQQ, talk about poor. Look at this. QQQ slumps today uh, are getting repelled at that inside track repellent zone. And what happens? It closes down 647 at 370.80. If it starts to trade in the 368, 367 level early next week, that's going to be a problem. It makes this arch formation that we always look at the dreaded H, and we're looking at the upside has to be at 379 to 382 for any any semblance of a re, uh, recovery. The SMH is a horrible day, and I always think that where the semiconductors go, so does the general market goes, and so forth. A very ugly day today. Uh, look at this H pattern in the weekly chart. If the SMH is semiconductors next week, cl uh, close any day below 141. That's going to be a real big problem for the weekly chart. It'll be the first time you get that kind of pattern. The IWM was very weak. It's, it stalled right at the 200 period moving average. Can't get above it. It was down a dollar and a half to 180 feet. Gold had a good session, but it couldn't close at the high of the day. It's trying to form, establish some kind of support, but as long as the dollar, which is still looking very good, keeps rallying, that's going to be a, a big positive for it. For, for the for the market and the yields for public. Wonderful weekend, and we will see you on Monday.